Welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. We're going to make keys to this window lock right here. Now there's a couple of ways we can do it. First of all we can read it using a reader and a light and then we can cut it on the computer or cut it with our clippers and then come back and try it. The second way is we can actually remove it from the window and make a key. So I'll go through both scenarios for you. So I'm using a scope here, when you push the button the light comes on and you can see through here. I'm also using another little fibre optic one here as well, you see that? So what I like to do is go in there, pull all five discs down, if you can see in there. I also have this one here, I can put a bit of light on as well. See if I can get that in there, where are we? That's lighting it up. Let's see if we can read this now. Okay, so we've got a low one. Looks like a high one or a medium. Okay, so low, medium, high. Medium, high. So we'll go high, medium, high, medium, low. So to break that down, if there's a uh, three three different sizes we would say that um, we would be having a three because this one is a lot of meat on top so basically uh, uh, how do I describe so when we look at it if we can see a lot of meat so uh, high medium low so the lower this is the more of the key will be left that was our key there so if it was up here, we would be using a low disc. If it's down here, we would be using a high disc. So my guess on this one would be three, two, three, two, one. That is my guess, just by doing a quick read. There's, there's five different, uh, there's five positions, the spacing, one, two, three, four, five, and there's three depths. Uh, one, two, and three. So that's our space and depth, basically. Right there. Now, option number two. Take the window out. So I'm lifting it up, pushing it all the way up. Lifting the window out. Bring it down. And I really hate, hate doing it this way. Because there is that chance, always, that you drop or crack this window or tap it on in a corner or something like that. And then you'll be up for a whole new window. Three, four hundred dollars. Now from here, we grab it and we slide it all the way up. Slide it, take it off in our hand. We don't want the window to break, so rather than leave it hanging or sitting, we're gonna put it back on the thing. So to put it back here, I've got it on a slight angle. Make sure it's on the track. Lifting, and popping it back on the track. So yeah, not much fun doing it that way. Now we have our cylinder here, so what we can actually do is just get a pick in the back here, push it out, push, and then from the front here, we can just wiggle it, wiggle, 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 and now to check our combination, we need a key, I have a key, here's a key. So that's our key. So now I look at my combination and to me this one right here which is um, this one right here which is already at the right height that's a one. The largest one is a three the middle one is a two. So I can read this and say three two three two one three two three two one. So our read was correct if we had um, our keys marked with our space and depth, I could just quickly clip this. But uh, just to confirm both, both ways of doing it. So if you're not, not a good reader or your eyesight isn't very good, you can quite easily pull the plug. This being the plug. And, or if you, if you can read it, you might save yourself a bit of time. And it might be a little bit easier than pulling the window off. Because every time you pull that window off, you run that chance. Of course, you can't get it on there with it on the window. So every time that comes off like that, 
run the chance of either cutting yourself with the glass, the glass breaking, a whole heap of whole heap of things you really don't want. So if you can leave it on the window, it's going to be better for you. So we're going to make one key and then check it around with the rest of the house. Let's put this back up here. Ah, look at that. Back to front. How, how annoying. Should have checked that. It's my mistake. Sometimes they have a little bit of wire here, so you do have to be careful that you don't uh, you don't lose any parts. Okay, make sure it slides. Make sure it locks. Okay, so there's our code. That's two ways of doing it: reading or dismantling it. And um, just showing you this. So we'll probably go cut the key now and um, come back and make sure it works around the rest of the rest of the unit. Okay, so now we're ready to cut the keys for those window locks. So we're using uh, using the Silka LF43R, which has the same space and depth as the standard Lower and Fletcher type locker locks. So that one there would be card number 114 in the Silka world of things. So let's just bring that up card number 114 delete the key blank so it doesn't get confused drop the keyboard search so we'll use that key blank even though it's not that key blank it's the same space and depth I know that quite well now we go back to our code which we found from the window which is three two three I think it was uh, three two three two one yeah. confirm Start. Okay, so there's our key. Let's uh, let's go try it now. Okay, so I've got my keys now. We cut on computer. Let's test them. And they turn perfectly. Of course, it's always good to test them around, uh, test them on some other windows too, just, just to make sure that um, you don't need to make any other keys. A lot of new units, they all seem to have one key for all of them, which is good. So lock, turn lock, perfect. So that was making keys by reading the lock and also making keys by uh, removing the lock and actually decoding it and then cutting it back to code. Thanks for watching.